All right, welcome to uh, week three's video, and we're going to uh, continue where we left off in lab. I'm going to bring up the uh, the plate drawing that we did. You can see I got two of them here, um, and and I think I'm going to do that eventually. Uh, but for this lab, what I'd like you to do is create, or actually this homework assignment, we're going to create our title block. And I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'll show you how to import that into our plate drawing later. So let's. Uh, Let's create a new drawing. Just click this piece of paper up here in the corner. Thought I did. Maybe I got to click it. There we go. Same default, acad.dwt, and say open. So we're in our, 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 our basically our, uh, our grid screen. I'm going to turn the grid off. We don't have any grid snap. We're just going to do this with without a grid so I'm gonna and we'll practice this in lab but uh, without snapping to grids we're going to create a little box that's going to fit on our sheet of paper uh, and we're going to do it a little differently so we'll be putting some text and we'll be drawing some lines so let's create a layer we're going to go to layer properties right click say new layer and we're going to call this one title block and we'll leave it at white for now. I think that should be okay. And double click it. If you double click it, it brings the green check mark, makes it the current layer. Everything over here should be by layer. And we're just going to start by drawing some lines. So we're going to take our line tool and we'll just start anywhere here. And again, this is in inches. So if we go um, to our drawing utilities, and select units you'll see that we're still in decimal we can probably go down to single decimal place here actually let's go with two decimal places and say okay and um, we'll turn our line weights on this little tool here if you don't see this tool you can go over here and click this customization and it brings all of your tools up and you can see things like transparency and selection cycling some of these things I don't have on but uh, do have the line weight turned on so if you want to see your line weight you need to have that turned on so it's blue so everything else we've got our polar tracking we've got our snaps are on let's just make sure I have endpoint, midpoint, center, intersection, extension, perpendicular, and tangent. So that's good. All right, so let's go to our line tool. And it's going to start here anywhere. And I'm going to key in a distance of 3 inches. You notice how it gives me these little guidelines. And I'm going to roll my wheel ahead so I can see it. And I'm going to go up a distance of, uh, let's go up 1.25. And we'll go back over. Now watch, I don't even if I didn't remember what that distance was, if I just bring my mouse down and just kiss the at this endpoint, you'll notice as I bring this up, it actually gives me the guidelines. Left click here, and then come back down to the original point. I'm gonna put a picture in here, so I'm gonna bring this over one inch, just key in one, enter, go up again. We can go over and kiss this, come back. So it gives us our alignments. Come back into this point and just left click and then right click. Now if I double click my middle wheel one time, or just actually one double click, just like this, it'll fill my screen. I'll just zoom out just a little bit. So what I want on the bottom is uh, I want a half inch line up here at the top. And then these ones will go up a distance of 0.2 inches for each one. So again, we're going to start with our line tool, and I'm going to let it snap to this point. And when it says endpoint, just start moving your cursor up, and you'll notice it's actually given me a distance here and an angle, and I want to go up a distance of 0.2. Hit enter. So it didn't actually have to draw a line; it let me offset that. So we'll do it. Bring it over, and when I reach a perpendicular, it gives me a perpendicular snap mode. Left click right click right click again come back over here let it settle when you see the word endpoint just start pushing your mouse up you'll see it gives me a key i want to go up 0.2 again 0.2 and then enter and then just bring it across until you find a perpendicular snap mode right click let's do it off this side this time and one more 
So right click to start it, let it settle. When you see endpoint, just start moving it up. Point two, enter, bring it back. Left, when you see the perpendicular, just left click and then right click. Now what I want to do is I want to put a divider line through the bottom two. So again, just right click to get my line. I'm going to find the center point of this line and bring it straight down and then right click. Okay. So this is a box that's actually going to fit in our, um, uh, in our sheet file, in our layout one or layout two, but we're going to build it here. So now what I want to do is put some titles on the top of this all the way around. So we're going to select our text tool. If you drop this down, we're just going to use single line text. So just left click on single line. And I'm actually going to put this text up here. Just left click and it asks us what angle we want the text. Well, if I just hit enter, it's going to assume I want zero. Hit enter again and you'll see the text. Now I'm just going to put up here the word project name and a colon. Oops, don't need that. And then right, oops. Okay. Now, that's way too big. And I could have set it up so I could adjust the size, but if I just left click on it and then hit my right mouse button and go to properties. What I can do then is come down to where it says height and I'm going to put it in at 0.1 or actually 0.08. I think it's better. And uh, I could probably go a little bit smaller. Let's try 0.06. That's good. And we'll close this out. And now I'm going to move this down so it just sets in this upper corner right here. Now I'm going to take my copy tool and I'm going to copy this to this location, to this location, to this location, to this location, and to this location. Roughly in the same position. Okay. So now this says project name. That's correct. I just want to double click on this and I'm going to type in location colon. Double click on this one. Drawn by colon. Checked by colon. Double click. This one will be uh, let's put date colon and then double click and this one is going to be called scale colon. Okay, so those are our fixed pieces of text that we've placed on here. Um, I just want to check. I think this is working. In your folder that you created, I want you to double click on it and right click and create a new folder. And this one's going to be called images. So I need an image and uh, I think that'll be okay. I'm going to create another folder here. We're going to call this one PDFs. This will be where we'll place our PDF files for later. So I need an image for that. And I'm going to use, um, you could use a selfie. Let me see what I have for pictures on here. Hopefully nothing nasty. No, it never happened to pictures. Let's see what do I have. Oh, there's a fat selfie of me before I lost weight. My granddaughter's in here, a little family picture, got some raccoons, let's see, Chloe, do I have any good pictures of Chloe? Well, got everything else. I'll use this family picture. So I'm just going to take this. 
It's from me and the grandkids. And I'm going to, but you know, you can take a selfie, do whatever you want. I'm just going to drag and drop that right into my image folder. So it's right there. And I'll close this out. Close this out. Go back into my AutoCAD. Glad that's recording. I want to place that picture right here. So we're going to go to Insert, right up here at the top where it says Insert. And I want to attach, it says, in, this says Insert References to External Files such as Drawings and Raster Image. A raster image would be a JPEG or any type. The important thing here is that you put it in that folder and you don't move it because if you move that picture later on, the AutoCAD won't be able to find it and you'll just get a blank screen there. So make sure you know where you're putting that picture. So we'll say attach. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to find my CIE 101 home. It means it's not related to a lab. Go to my images. It says it's empty, but if you actually drop this down and just say all image files, there it is. Say open. And uh, we'll call it uh, grumpy. I think that's, I guess I don't need to full pass, specify on screen, we'll just say OK. So I'm just going to place this picture right here. And if I place it in the bottom corner, um, what I'll probably do is just leave it here, bring it out, and then I can move it around. If I go back to my home screen, I can move this using this tool. I kind of want it the same. I want to square it up, so I'm going to bring this down until it touches this bottom line. Okay. And now, if I just grab this, I can bring it over. I think I want to grab, oops. I'm just going to move that for a second to make sure I get these lines connected. Just move it over here. See, I knew those weren't touching, so I'm just going to bring them back. That way my picture will fit in there nice and even. Now I can grab this. Just right-click if you want and say move. Bring it over. We'll place it right in that line right there. Okay? My wife, Kim. Granddaughter, Riley, Benjamin, and Chloe. All right. So now what we're going to do is let's do a file save just so we don't lose anything. And we're going to save this in our desktop, CA 101 home. And we'll put this in our homework directory. And we're going to call it title block. All right, so now it's saved. So now we're going to put in some uh, text attributes. And the, the way we do that is we're going to type in A-T-T-D-E-F, attribute definition. And you want to stop, start with your least important item, A-T-T-D-E-F. Up here we're going to say our tag is going to be scale. Our prompt will be scale, question mark. Our default will be the word full. Our justification will be middle center. That way, when it expands with different text. And I want the height of this to be, let's say, 0.8. And I'm going to put it doesn't look right for scale, but I'm just going to move my mouse so it's right in the center and I'm going to just left click. So, what is wrong with that? So I didn't do something right. Let's erase it. Try it again. Text height. So, scale. Prompt will be scale question mark. Default will be full. It's going to be 
middle center, textile is standard, text height 0.08. How about that? Hit OK. And I'm going to come right here to the center of this box, right here, and just left click. Even though the text is off on my cursor, when I left click here, you'll notice it goes to the center. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing. If I just right click, it remembers my last command. And I'm going to type in date and then date question mark. The default will be 1-26-16. This will also be middle center, 0.08. Hit OK. And again, we'll find roughly the center point of this box. Left click, and there's the date. Same, just right click, get the next one. We're going to say checked by, and don't put a space in your tag. It'll tell you you can't put spaces in there. And then we'll put a note checked space by question mark. And then we'll just put, I'm going to put my name, C. Junkins. You can put your name or you can put Eric or whatever you want to put in there, whoever's going to check it for you. Middle center, because they can always change it anyway. This is just a default. 0.08 hit OK and our check by will go right I'm going to try to put it right here so it's in the middle and then right click our next one will be drawn up oh, drawn by no space drawn space by question mark and I'm going to put go ahead and put your name here don't put my name I'll just put my initials and my last name I want to make sure it's middle center justified. Hit OK. These are things that can be uh, fixed later on if you want, but it's good to kind of get them right. Now we're going to say right mouse button. This one will be location. Prompt will be location question mark. The default will be Orno main. This will also be middle center justified at 0.08. And then we'll go right in here to the center. And finally, just right click. This one will be project name. This will be your assignment name. Whoops, I put a space in there. Shame on me. And this will be project name question mark. And this will be, the project name will be, I'm just going to say my project. And this one, I want to be middle center, but I want the text size to be 0.1. We'll say OK. And I'm going to move my mouse right approximately to the center of this box, and there will be my project name. OK. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take my selection tool, which is by default, whatever, whenever you're not using a tool, your selection tool is active. And just drag a box through there. You're going to left click, let it go, and drag through the title block. Then left click again. And we're right up here where it says block. We're going to create a block. Just say create. And we're going to give this a name. We're going to call it my title block one. So we may end up building a couple of these. And uh, we're going to put our base point, we're going to say specify on the screen. Our block unit is in inches. Everything else is good. And we can put a description down here and just say my first title block. And we'll say OK. And then what it's asking me for is an insertion point. And I want this corner right here to be my insertion point. So just left click there. And it comes up with my edit attributes. It says, what's your project name? What's your location? What, who's it drawn by? Who's it checked by? What's the date? And what's the scale? And just say OK. All right. And see everything changed here. So now, all right, what we're going to do is we're going to go to layout number one down here. Click on layout one. There's my um, drawing with my sheet on it. And I just want you to, when you're in the paper mode down here, just left click on that and hit delete. Okay. And what you're seeing there is a sheet of eight and a half by 11 paper. And it's going to 
we're going to put our title block right in this corner and this dotted line indicates the extents to which the default plotter or printer can print this out on so let's uh, let's insert our title block so just say insert there's my title block just left click on it you'll notice when I bring it down it's right on my cursor and bring it down you can zoom in and go right into this corner don't go past the line just kind of stay just inside of it so you're sure you're gonna get it plotted and we'll just say OK on this all right now what we want to do is I'm gonna go back here and we're gonna look at I think it's under view no nope, sorry uh, where is that insert layout layouts what we want click layout and over here are your layout viewports and I want you to drop this little arrow down right here where it says rectangular and we're gonna put in a polygonal viewport because we're gonna we're gonna work around that little title block so just click on this tool and we'll start right here in this corner actually we can yeah we'll start right in that corner all the way up go all the way up and you can zoom in with your wheel if you want so you can get it right up just shy of that dotted line bring it across and again you'll see when it's locked at 180 just stay shy of that dotted line left click we'll pull it down now this one I want to line up with the bottom so I can just come over here and kiss it if I kiss it and then bring it back there it'll lock in I'm gonna come back lock here here and then I, if I just hit C for close it'll close the shape and what that did is it created a viewport now that if I look at my change this from paper to model I can zoom out of that piece and it still keeps everything this viewport will show whatever's in the screen okay so now what I want to do is go back to my paper we'll zoom in everything looks good we're gonna say uh, file, let's do a file save and I'd like you to do this before our next lab next week uh, so when you bring it in you'll have everything there and we can start working on some other things let's go back to our model and take this entire piece and delete it now you deleted the original drawing but if you look at your layout we've still got our block we still created this as a as a block that will always be here if I want to insert this you'll see my title block is there so you can create blocks that are able to be brought back in at any time and the other thing we're going to do is come over here to our layout and just right click on this and say rename and we're going to call this one uh, it just turns blue so you can just start typing we're going to call it TB letter title block letter okay do a file save all right so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to say file close I'll say yes go ahead and save it and I want to open up let's make sure I'm in the right directory yep homework I'm going to open up our plate drawing from last week in lab and just double click on this and there it is and what I'd like to do is I'm going to right click where it says layout 2 here and just say delete it yeah I don't need that okay and what I want to do is right click on this layout and say from template and I want to go grab just go to my desktop again all oh, things are going smooth there's my CIE 101 home there's my homework and there's my title block drawing just double click on that and it gives me two options I can pick out my layout too which I didn't do anything with I can pick up my title block letter and just say okay look what happens down here at the bottom now I've got title block letter so if I click on this and we I'll go to model there's my drawing and I want to bring this in at a um, half scale so we're going to come over here and say one to two and I'll just use my middle wheel and pull it up here 
so we can add some more things to it later. And I'm going to go back to my my uh, model for a second and uh, see that everything is good there. I'm going to make a few little minor adjustments. I'm just going to bring these out so that uh, it leaves the gap. Just dress it up a little bit. You want to leave that little gap in there just so it looks nicer. You can see how that kind of filled in. You can just select your dimension line and just pull it straight back out. And I think I want to be about right up. Oh, not far enough. Just leave a little gap between your center mark and uh, the end of that line. Just cleans it up a little bit more. And I'm going to type in uh, LT scale, enter, and that's set to zero, I, one. I want to think I want to set that to zero. Oops, no. One is correct. I'm sorry, that's the line type scale. Now we're going to type PSLT scale. And we're going to set that to zero, I think. So when I go back to my title block letter, I want to check these. See, I want to be able to see those gaps in the line. So maybe that one wasn't the right. Back to one to two. It's kind of funky when it does this. Oh, maybe because I wasn't in the model there either. So let's just go back here. Still in the model. Go to paper space sometimes. And I probably had it right the first time. So let's go back to model. We'll type in PSLT scale. We'll set it to 1. has to do with whether your line scales transmit to the... Uh, Go here and then go to paper space. And it's still not working right. I'll figure it out before our next lab and we'll get it straight. So now we've got this in here. And uh, what I want to do is adjust my title block now. So all you need to do is while you're in the paper space, just double click on your title block. And there's your menu. So my project's going to be called Plate 1. Location will be Orono, <clears throat> drawn by me, checked by me. Today's date is correct, and the scale is going to be not full but half. Hit Apply, and then OK, and now all of my title block information changed. Now the other thing I need to do again is, because I went into a new um, layer here, I'm going to go to my Layer Properties, and I'm going to look at all of these, and I'm going to say... All of these should be black. And you'll see as I change the color from green to black, it'll automatically change on the drawing. This cyan for the center marks, I'm going to make it a uh, darker gray just to lighten it up. And all of these are set to dimensions. I want to make those zero. I'm just checking my line weights here. And let's make my main line weight a little bit heavier. Let's go to a 0.5 millimeter. So now when I close this out and click on this model to go to paper and zoom in, you'll see that my line weight is much better now. I wonder if I have to be in paper when I do that. Go back to my model, type PSLT scale. Set it to zero, and then go back to my title block letter. That didn't work. Let me try it one more time. Maybe it's because I was, I hate it when I can't figure something out like that, but I will figure it. We'll get a method. And uh, we'll just type PSLT scale. It only can be one or zero. Back to my title block letter. Still doesn't do it, so I will figure it out. I had it figured out yesterday, and then I now it won't do it again. So sometimes it just appears after a few minutes, but uh, right now it's not picking up those line line styles on the center marks. We will figure it out. So now what we have is a finished drawing, and we'll put a little title on this one. Just just do a title for a single line, and we'll just. Left click here, hit enter, 
hit enter again, we'll type in uh, plate, oops, I guess I need to be in my, oops, I guess I gotta stop it, make sure I'm in the right level. So you notice it also brought in that title block level, so I'm just going to click on my title block, this will all be by layer, and uh, now I can click it, single line text, enter, enter, and we'll call it plate top view. Now it's a little large. So again, just go to properties. It's set at 0 0.2. Let's set it at 0.15. And we can move it down a little bit. So making sure that things look good as we put them together is important. And, um, and now if I wanted to actually print this out, what I would do is go up here to the big A drop it down. We can just say print. Um, I don't want to batch plot. I'm just going to click print. It's probably going to, it, and it says, you notice you have multiple drawings here and it, it'll, it will allow me to batch plot this if I had multiple sheets, but I just want to plot one single sheet. So just this one, I'm going to select uh, Adobe PDF. I think you can use Adobe PDF.pc3, which is basic in, in AutoCAD. Uh, we could try AutoCAD PDF high quality print if you wanted to. Let's, uh, Let's try that one and just see what it does. So there it is. PDF options gives you vector quality, raster image. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And just say, okay. And let's do a preview. So if I do a preview, this is what my drawing is going to look like. And you see it bled off a little bit of my drawing on the side just because of the way that uh, drawing is set up. So we'll say, no, nah, that didn't really work very well for us. We'll say, uh, cancel that. Let's just take this drawing, select everything, and we'll move it just slightly to the left, about 0.15 inches. Now we do a plot, continue, we'll say Adobe high quality, let's do a preview again. Ah. Lost them both. So, take that out. Let's just try the regular Adobe PC3. Let's see if that works. Yeah, got to move it back the way it was. So, pardon me. Grab everything. You notice my drawing doesn't move, just the border. So now I'll move this back. I'll just zoom in. Grab this and put it right inside here. All right, so now let's try right click plot. Continue. Rather than hitting the print, you can just right click on this and say plot. We're going to say this is Adobe PC3. We'll get it, give it a name. Uh, add. We'll call it first plot. So it remembers. It's going to print out one to one, meaning it's a full size sheet of paper. We'll just say preview it. Yeah, and that now you can see all our borders are in here. All our line weights look pretty good, except for that line style. And I'll again fix that. All our spelling is correct over here. And we'll just hit our plot button now that we've previewed it. And it's going to ask us how we want to save it. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'll go down to my CIE 101 home folder, go to my PDFs, and I'm going to say, I'm going to title this one Assignment 1, actually call it Assignment 2 because we have the hand drawings, and put my name C. Junkins. And that way when you turn them in, they won't get mixed up with anybody else's, although they're going into your folder, so it shouldn't matter, but just to be safe, and just say save it. So it plots it out to a PDF being created and there it is so when I bring this up now you can see how the lines are even better once it's in place here how much finer these lines are I'm gonna to go to my tools and say uh, rotate you probably won't have this I have Adobe oops rotated the wrong way and rotate I wonder why my picture came out in black and white I bet it's because of my um, 
title block settings on my pen table, but that's okay. That works. So again, I can do a fit view, but if I just want to look at this thing a little closer, you can see that the drawing is actually in, I like to inspect things. Especially when it's got my picture on it. Yeah, so it came out with pretty good resolution. And then we'll do a fit view. So once you're sure everything is good and looks okay for your print, we'll just say file, save, and that way it saved it in his rotated mode. So if I close this out now, I'm going to do a file, save here, and we'll close this out. We're out of AutoCAD now, and I'll just go to my home folder, check my PDF one more time, and then there'll be a place in the... Uh, Blackboard site for you to deposit this for your week three or week four homework actually depending on when you get it done So we can use this title block over and over again now the other neat thing about this is is, is uh, If we go back and this is something you should try also as part of our work one more quick thing only take us about five minutes guaranteed Famous last words. Well, five minutes plus, as long as it takes to get my screen up. All right, so let's open up our title block drawing again. So there it is. We've got title block letter. Let's come over here and right click on layout two. And uh, we could actually put another one in here. But let me just change that. I'm going to go to layout 2. It's already set. So while we're in here, I'm going to right click and say page setup manager. And we're going to modify this. We're going to tell it rather than a letter, I want you to be an 11 by 17 piece of paper, an ANSI B. And your layout will be landscape, which is good, plot object line weights, the name of this will be, we're going to go to our Adobe PC3, so that's where it's going to print. That way it'll show us our lines. Um, hit OK. We don't have any plot styles up there. Let's, let's just preview. Yeah, that'll work. Close it out. Hit OK. And close. So now layout 2 is an 11 by 17 sheet of paper. And we can be in our paper mode and insert our title block right here in the corner. Hit OK. So we don't need to put any text on it yet. We're going to take our existing viewport out and we're going to add a new one. So we're going to go to Layout, Polygonal, and we'll just sketch this line. I'll stay pretty close to the inside of these lines this time without zooming in. I'm just going to grab this point and then just bring it across. See how that green line kind of follows me back and I just lock it right there and I can bring it over to this point, to this point, and then just hit C for close. And uh, if I go to this and double click, there's oh, there's no picture out there anyway, so there's nothing there. Go to this model. And now we've got, I can right click and say rename this one. And we'll say TB 11 by 7, 7, whoops, 17. We'll do a file, save. And we'll do a close. Now we'll open up our plate drawing again. There's our TB letter. Now I can right click on this and say from template, from my title block, give me my 11 by 17. And now when I click this, and I want this one to be full scale, and I can click my layer properties. For my title block, I'm just going to leave that the way it is. Oops, pull it down here. says white. I don't really want it white. 
Anyway, we'll do this one, black, and we'll go to a point. 50 seem to work pretty well on our line weight. This green will be black, and this cyan will be dark gray. Hit OK. Now you notice these, these lines actually came out right. So my letter, that one doesn't, this one does. So what's, I have no idea what the difference is. So I will figure it out at some point. So we close this out now and uh, take it out of model mode so I can zoom in. There's my good line weights. Everything looks good except, let me go here. I want to change my uh, dimension lines to zero, makes them a little thinner. Sometimes they don't print out really well there, but uh, we'll make those thinner also and say OK. Close it out, go back to my paper, hit OK. So now just for the heck of it, I'm going to right click on my tab down here and say plot. Just one page. Tabloid. It's already set for Adobe because that's what I saved it at. I want to preview it. There it is. Hit plot. And I'll put this in assignment 2 C. Junkins 11 by 17. Save. That was full. I didn't change the title block, but that doesn't matter. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to do that now. So now if I close this out and hit yes, I want to save it. There's my drawing. I'll do a fit view. I want to rotate that. So I go to tools, rotate, counterclockwise, or I want counterclockwise 90 degrees. Okay. And you can see my line weight is nice and fine except for my object itself. So it does a good job. All right, we'll keep exploring this. There's our final drawing on 11 by 17. All you need to do is an 8.5 by 11, and we'll get that ready for you to turn in. But that is our lesson for this week online, and then we'll do some more drawing in the lab on Monday and Wednesday. So that should do it for tonight. Thanks, and I will see you next week.